I was talking to someone uh, the other day, and they had uh, been for a job interview. And, uh, you know, the, the idea of moving into something that they're really excited about doing, the possibility of doing, and that sort of thing. And everyone had said to them, oh, yeah, you could do that. That's no problem, that sort of thing. But what they were talking about was the, you could say, the situation of change. Like, from their perspective, it was just like, well, you just hand in your notice at one place and go for an interview and da-da-da-da-da. All this way. What they weren't seeing was the transition that's involved. Because changes are situational, but transition is psychological and it's emotional. And so when it comes to making the kind of changes we want to make, lots of people talk about changes, but not so many people look at, okay, what has to happen at a deeper level for that to become possible? And what we find again and again and again is that once the emotional and psychological piece of it starts to get handled, the practical, situational piece of it becomes relatively straightforward. Like there's stuff you'll need to learn to do and that sort of thing. And in any, in any role, in any profession, in any new domain, there are things you need to learn. But the basis for all of this is going to be that deeper level. That's going to be the foundation for what we're doing, and that's what's going to make everything else possible. Transition is something that's sweeping society. So the change is clear to see. The change is, oh, we've got smartphones. Oh, we've got you know live streaming. Oh, we've got Uber. Oh, we've got... So those are changes. But the transition is the way we relate to this uh, psychologically, the way we, we relate to it emotionally, and the way that we take the opportunities that that offers and makes available. And it's particularly interesting to what we're exploring here because the, as more and more things get computerized and mechanized and digitized, what it, what it leaves as the places where uh, where there's something different to contribute is the human element, is social intelligence, is creativity, is per perceptiveness, is intuition, is all the things that machines and robots and AIs can't do, or at least can't do yet, you know.